The project really started at the beginning of 1997 and everything that's there had to be created from scratch. There was nothing. It was Snake City, rusty cars all over the place. It was a really exciting place. There was a chap called Tim Court who was the venue architect and he, he'd mapped out the, the main arena and where, and where all the arenas were going to be and the indoor. And then the rest of it we had to create from scratch and we had to have two competitions, the team and the individual, and also fit in the roads and tracks and the steeplechase into what was a pretty undulating venue. The biggest challenge, I guess, was the footing, because you wouldn't normally start off with red clay, and this is where Patch was really helpful. He came down and, with his familiarity and experience of dealing with that sort of ground and those ground conditions, it was really, really good to work with him and the footing guys to come up with the, the best footing that we could in what was a relatively short period of time, really with only two growing seasons before the test event. The team there, in, in putting it all together, did the most fantastic job. I mean, it, it, it looked like some battle scenes. We started off by carving out the where the steeplechase was going to go, and we're going through long grass, we could hear the snakes slithering around. And then that then left where the cross-country was going to be, and also the phases A and C. And the cross-country, one of the challenges there was, was actually because we're still on a 30-minute course, which is the minimum distance at that time, was to try and make it not too punishing for the horses if the weather was really extreme. So we were very mindful of climate. And there was a fairly significant amount of earthworks that had to be done in reducing the, the height of one of the hills where the cutting is. And we needed to push that round the corner to fill in a hole the other side. And that was a fairly significant piece of work. But actually you then start off, you work out where the start and finish is going to be so it's convenient for the athletes and the team crews and, and the management side of things. And, and then you look at where the water features are and, and how to plug it all together in a way that flows and try and keep the balance right on, on the two courses. I mean, overall, it was sort of a 27-week project from start to finish, including the competition. Our abiding memory was how welcoming everybody was. The atmosphere was fantastic. And, I mean, I think Australia should be really proud of, of Sydney. It's, I mean, it was brilliant. I was a real privilege to be involved.